I sometimes you have to do a little bit of simplify, simplifying first by either multiplying out or dividing before you actually do the integration. So integrate the following. The integral of 3x minus 2 all squared and b 5x to 6 minus 7x cubed plus 9x over 3x dx. So writing the first one out. Uh, 3x minus 2 all squared means you do 3x minus 2, 3x minus 2. Notice I've not removed the integral sign because I haven't actually performed the process of integration. So expanding the brackets, so it's 3x times 3x minus 2, minus 2 times 3x minus 2 dx, becomes the integral of 9x minus 6x, 3x times 3x, 3x times minus 2x, minus 2 times 3x, which is minus 6x, minus 2 times minus 2, which is plus 4 dx. Collecting those two like terms together, we get the integral of 9x squared minus 12x plus 4 dx. Now, some of you will be able to go from, from here straight to here in one go. Now, what we do is the process of integration. ax to the n dx is equal to ax to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. n is not allowed to be equal to minus 1. So applying that to each of these, each of these, we now get 9x cubed over 3 minus 12x squared over 2 plus 4x over 1. Or x to the 1 over 1 plus c. Simplifying, we're going to get uh, 9 goes into 3, 3x cubed minus 12 over 2, which is 6x squared. Uh, 4 divided by 1 is just 4x plus c. And like, like I said, some of you will be able to go directly from here to here. The second one 5x to 6 minus 7x cubed plus 9x over 3x dx. It's going to give me 5x to the 6 over 3x. And what you do is you put these all over each, you separate the denominator out. Minus 7x cubed over 3x plus 9x over 3x. Now that's all put in some brackets and then it's all with respect to dx. You don't need brackets here because this line acts as a bracket. 3x, 5x to 6 divided by 3x it becomes 5x to 5 over 3. This becomes 7x squared over 3. And this just becomes... So 9x divided by 3x. 9x divided by 3x is 3dx. Okay, so ax to the n dx, is the integral of that is ax to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c, provided n is not equal to uh, minus 1. So doing that to each of these, we now get 5x to 6 over 3 times 6. Now why do we get that? Well, if you do 5 thirds divided by 6, from your raw fractions, that's 5 over 3 times 1 over 6. And what we're doing here is 5x to the 6 over 3, all divided by 6. It's the same idea. So we put the 6 up here, and this is just something you need to just get used to. So the next one will become my set minus 7x cubed over 3 times 3 plus 3x to the 1 over 1 plus c. Simplifying, that gives me 5x to 6 over 18 minus 7x cubed over 9 plus 3x plus c. Now you can write the answer like this or you could have written the answer like this separate the fraction up and then write it like that. But what you've got to realise is this and this are exactly the same thing. And sometimes this causes a bit of confusion. Okay, this has been a video to show you that sometimes you have to prepare the integral first before actually integrating. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.